hearties. How lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue this Sunday morning just for you. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our live I hope everybody is up and about. Always good to see you, of course. And do feel free to come and join us. OMG, hi. Hi, Rubber Duck Queen. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do a very good Sunday morning to you. Sunday morning, just coming up to half past 11 in the morning. We did pop up earlier to say hi. And it's nice to see you again, as not everybody was up and about this morning. But a good whack have you were. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, as I say always. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's most humble man. Here you are. You can't beat that, can you? Uh, we wouldn't like anybody to think we were blowing any trumpets, but it's always good to get chit-chatting with the world. Why did we start the TikTok Live? Because we wanted every single one of you to have someone nice to go where it's safe and funny when the news is so depressing. Nice hat, lad. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, who adores you, absolutely. Thoughts on George Square? I was shocked, but not surprised. I think it's dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. What we need to do is ban alcohol at any of these things as well. And perhaps the Union flag should be replaced by the salt tire. So there we are. How are you keeping? Dinky do absolutely very, very well. Amen, says the young one. Yes, indeed. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. It's very, very important. We've got half a million viewers and only 12,000 followers. So please get following as soon as you possibly can. Always lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. All right, mate. I'm Scottish too. Excellent, mate. Mate's actually an English word unless you were in the Royal Navy with me. So we don't really do meat in Scotland. In fact, I think the word meat should be banned in Scotland unless it's used properly. That's the thing. Ian John Murphy, thank you so much for sending me red roses. So very, very good of you. How was it yesterday? Yesterday was outstanding. Long time no see. So there we are. Ah, long time no see. Absolutely wonderful stuff. What we'll do is it'll be long time no see again because you're just being sent down the swatty for trolling. Woo! Bye-bye, long time no see. <laughs> Very long time no see. Are you rich? I'm the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. But I get to talk to you on TikTok, so that's good. That's always wonderful stuff. Scotty, where's the flat cap with the wee badge? I don't know, we lost it. I've misplaced it. I'll need to find it. But we've still got the wee badge, so don't panic. Scotty McClure. Yes, dinky do. From Scotty McClure. How good is that? Can you see that? The wee badge, guys. The light was reflected on it. Dinky do. Scotty McClure. Absolutely. So I've got my Australian hat on. I've got my jackaroo on. There we are. I'm one of the jackaroos this morning. Now, um, hello from Loch Ness. Hello, dinky do. Nim, who's in Loch Ness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see. What's up, Scotty? Um, nothing's up. Well, everything's up. Nothing's down, which is excellent stuff. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus? Everybody believes in the Lord Jesus. Yes, whether they think they do or not. Uh, Scotty, have you ever been in a spitfire? No, but uh, I have spoken to people who have flown them and people who have sat in them, and I can tell you the takeoff procedure for the spitfire. So there we are, because we once had a guy telling us he was a Spitfire pilot. I put him to the test, and he was telling me a whopper. He had the Pinocchio, the Pinocchio. There we are. Rain is coming down really hard where I am. It's going to rain for two weeks. There we are, Long John Terry. You must get the animals into the ark, two by two, I say. Sup, baby. Uh, what's the meaning behind Dinky-Doo, Scotty? Dinky-Doo is a word, I, it had been heard before, but I adopted it as my catchphrase. It wasn't well known. It's now known throughout the world. Two billion people have heard the words Dinky-Doo because it means it's all well with you and the world. There are. If you're scrolling, guys, stop right now. This is where you belong. Scotty, come to Australia. 
I'd love to come to Australia. Could you cope with Scotty McClure late night phoning on your radios right across Oz? There we go. Oh, hey, Scotty. Kenzie, thank you. Know. Free Palestine, yes, and free Israel. Two beautiful countries full of beautiful people who are at the argy bargy. And they've no right to be at the argy bargy. And they've no right to chuck ordnance at each other. Silly, silly, silly way to live. And uh, it's a dreadful way for innocent people dying from it. Yes, yeah, so stop it. Get round the table. If you're struggling, phone Uncle Joe. That's what it's all about. So there we go. So free Israel, free Palestine. Have you ever been to Buxton? I think you'd like it. I love it. I love Buxton in Derbyshire. Beautiful, beautiful town. We love it. Bakewell's another of my favourites. Have you ever heard of Overhaddon? Ah, I visited a church in Overhaddon. Yes, indeed. And uh, the pheasants were in the grounds. It was beautiful. So there we go. Hello, Scotty. Thank you. Do. Now, who have we got here? Kitty, you need to grow up. So we'll send you down the road as a young and rather silly troll. Okay, gone. That's what it's all about. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Very, very important. I don't believe in God, but I believe there's an afterlife. William, what is it you don't believe in? Describe God to me so that we know what you don't believe in. Okay, okay. There we are. Why are you shouting? Because we're broadcasting right round the world and not everybody's hearing is up to scratch. And it's important that everybody hears Scotty McClue. Yes, message there, capiche? Anyone interested in Minecraft? Millions are. Do you like farming? Oh, I love the farming. The arable and the beasts, never a problem. So there we are, free Palestine. Well, we don't need to free Ireland because Ireland's been free for, uh, how long has Ireland been free for? A hundred years. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? Indeed, Scotty, very, very sad to see innocent people getting caught in the crossfire of diplomatic failure. Long John beautifully puts out. There we are, fantastic. He does not answer my questions. Whose questions do I not answer, Alexander? Come on, don't be silly. Have you ever slayed an English man? Uh, have I ever slayed? I mean, I've never slayed anyone. But I do love slayed. I wish it could be Christmas. <laughs> Here it is. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Timorous beasties and the memes. Absolutely. Up the imps. Is that the Hillman imps? Wonderful. Your voice is amazing. I thank you, Acid. I've just been accused of shouting. <laughs> I'm very strange. I love your voice. God is live, Scotty. Correct, Winston. 100%. Move up a place, I say. Follow us as soon as you come on. How are you doing, Scotty? A man created life. I don't believe that. Well, he wasn't actually a man, William, you see. He was uh, ethereal spirit. And the, the spirit, if you like, the gases created the world. The Big Bang and God are one and the same. Uh, what's the best book you've read? Oh, I've read, I've read thousands of books. I've read thousands of books. I used to love, as a child, reading Kenneth Graham's The Wind and the Willows, Beatrix Potter, yes, The Tale of Tiggy Winkle, Tale of Jeremy Fisher, Peter Rabbit, you know, all that sort of stuff. Do you have Xbox or PS4? I've got Xbox 6. I put six eggs in the one box. And I have an omelette for my breakfast. In fact, I've just had one. There we are. Good morning, good sir. Good morning, Blair. And thank you, do. The SNP would black out England on the map. Well, they shouldn't do that. England is just Anglo, right? The Angles and the Saxons from Germany. See, there's no actually such a thing as an English person. They're from Europe, you know. So Italy or um, France. Germany, you know, that sort of thing. What do you think of the Rangers fans? Absolutely destroying Josh Gray. Rangers fans should be very, very ashamed. Very ashamed, absolutely. And uh, Rangers should pay the bill. There we are, and then ban the fans from ever going to the game again. Um, Ireland isn't free. We demand a 32. No, 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 you don't demand anything. Pop Daddy, you don't understand that the people in the six counties are there because they want to be. Yes, 
They've chosen. So it's not up to you. Sorry, Lala, but you'll have to suck it up, Buttercup. Right, so there we go. You've got a republic at the moment. And um, what you could do, I suppose, is ask if you could join under the British crown again. You could ask that. So there we are. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Is it true the Scots don't like the English? The Scots adore the English, but they're not impressed with the Westminster Parliament and its attitude to Scotland, which should be 50-50, according to the Act of Union. Yes, indeed. I love your hat. Thank you. Favourite book? Just so many. So many favourite books. The joy I get from reading is incredible. Yes, wonderful stuff. Research. 50 years of proper research. Where in Scotland is your accent from? Uh, Edinburgh. No, Edinburgh would be more like that. If I was talking for Edinburgh, that's the way Edinburgh people talk. They've got a wee bit of a bounce in it there. Um, no, I uh, don't have an accent, actually. Uh, this is just the way I speak. Uh, you want Scott FM, correct, Winston, 100%, Scotland's finest radio hour. Does everybody remember Scott FM, the greatest station ever? You have so much energy. I thank you, Fizbee. Scotty, do you like the bagpipes? I was brought up with them. My father was an exceptional bagpiper. My grandfather was an exceptional bagpiper. And to hear my father play, he played in bands. He, in 1946, he was in the band of the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. So if you have any photos of that, you'll see him. He's the big tall chap. Nice hat, Scotty. Thank you. Dinky-doo. What happened to the dinky-doo hat? We don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. I've sat it somewhere, and I don't know where I've sat it. So I'll have to go and have a look. Scotty, what's with the hat? Where's the Terry? Well, this is my down-under hat. This is my jackaroo. Fantastic. <laughs> Are you Muslim? Uh, I, I, well, I think everybody, you see, has respect for the world's great religions. So you don't have to worry about being anything on here. We are all inclusive. So if you're Islamic, if you are uh, from, if you're Jewish, if you are um, Christian, you can all, everybody welcome, Hindu, Sikh, yes, everybody on here, not a problem. Uh, a cop, a new Xbox, sex, Xbox, six eggs in one box. Doesn't the Bible say that God is a man? It uses um, his and he, yes, absolutely. I think he was obviously male because he created man in his own image. So a male spirit, a male gas. England is just south of Scotland. You are correct, sir. Yes. I would pay to go on a road trip with Scotty. Hear all your stories. Oh, it would need to be a very long road trip if you wanted all my stories. I can tell you. Are there different beliefs between the Bible and what people believe? Um, well, you see, you can't change the word of God. So your beliefs, if they're different from what's in the Bible, would not be biblical. Are you with me? They would be heretic to an extent. Good morning, Scotty. You make everyone's day better 100%. I thank you, Powers, too. Lovely to have you with us, by the way. Scotty knows how to handle the trolls. Uh, I am the boss. We send them down the river. Yes, no troll has any any truck on here. We have no truck with trolls. Scotty, when is Nicholas Sturgeon going to get the Section 30 order? I've been waiting seven years. Patience is a virtue, TikTok. We've been waiting 313 years. There was never, ever, ever, ever any advantage in the Union to Scotland. But it did help Westminster. Do you like good? We are very good. There we are. The Rangers fans were fighting amongst each other. They were like animals, for God's sake. That's very rude to animals, Yalahoop. You must never, ever... You must never, ever insult our animal brothers and sisters. No, 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 no. I don't know one animal that is a Rangers fan. Dig you do, Scotty. How are you this fine Sunday morning? I'm away for a pint in the hole in the wall. Is that Max's hole in the wall in the middle of Dumfries? Say hello to other Dunhamers from Scotty McClue. 
<clears throat> Mind the boy, used to be in board of television. The union will be no more in ten years' time. Scotland wants independence. I think you're absolutely right, but Brexit killed it. If anybody accuses Scots of being separatists, redirect them directly to the government because they are separating it. Brexit has caused economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. So Brexit's your one. What age are you, Scotty? I'm of an indeterminate age. I'm at least 28 in Earth years, and um, I might be 2 million years old because I'm a time traveler. You see? Scotty, what life advice would you give us? Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Yes. And thank God for the gift of life and your man, Pa. I love your hat, matey. Thank you. Hello from Washington, D.C. We love you in Washington, D.C. We bid you a very good day. It must be about, what, six o'clock in the morning there. Smash the union. No, don't smash anything. The union was put together by jiggery pokery and bribery and corruption and every last thing you can name. The seven deadly sins. The union is built on sand. There was never any requirement for it. King William was a very, 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 very bad man. I don't want to upset our orange brothers and sisters, but he was a very, very bad man. Yes, very bad. And um, he pulled the plug on Scotland. Shocking. So I think that our orange brothers and sisters should start marching to the salt tire. That's what it's about. I like your hat. I thank you. There we are. Your hat's beautiful, matey. Isn't it gorgeous? I don't want to do too much advertising, but it's the genuine. Oh, hey, how cool is that, guys? It's the genuine jackaroo. I'll show you. If I come round here, you should see. There we are. Now, can you all, can you all see that, guys? Let me see if I can get that to you. There you go. See it? Read it. Jackaroo. Genuine. Uh, my sister brought it back from Australia. <laughs> there we are. So I'm off to shear the sheep. <laughs> Bit early for that. Jesus is Palestinian. He is. And until he started his own brand, he was also Jewish. He was the king of the Jews. I-N-R-I. Yesu Nazareni Rex Interita. Jesus is Palestinian, very much so. For man was born in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. Now, dink you do, Scotty. dink you do. What are your pronouns? We don't do pronouns on here, Teapot. They're old-fashioned, a little bit rude, a little bit intrusive. You know, so we're all inclusive on here, so you can forget needing any pronouns. Uh, there we are. Let's get high together. We are high together. Yes, the best way to be high is to have nothing, no stimulants, just be you and be woo. That's the way to do it. Now, who we got here? Dan Scotty with that knowledge. Oh, James, you need the knowledge, Chuck. You need the knowledge. Follow us, guys. We need a massive follow fest if you're coming on. And get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. There we are. Follow, follow, follow. Follow, follow, follow as soon as you can. Now, there we are. Excellent stuff. Fantastic. Oh, oh. There we go. Somebody spamming us had to go there. What previous jobs have you had? Working on the boats, working my way up from cabin boy, starting big diesel engines, steering boats across the Clyde, running up and down ladders with ropes, sweeping up the cabins. Ah, yes. Cleaning out the loose. All that sort of stuff. So there we are. Uh, lots of that's on the boats. And then uh, what did we do next? International banking. Fantastic stuff. Bit of that. So that's the stuff. And uh, then the television, radio, newspapers, all these things. <clears throat> 
Do you have moderators? I don't know moderators because we have very little problem on here. Just the odd little puerile, the odd little puerile troll who's used to trolling lives, doesn't know anything about Scotty McClue, doesn't understand what a top talk show is about, all that kind of stuff. So very few of them, then beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Who's just given me a gorgeous present there? Thoughts on Peaky Blinders? Oh, there you are. Uh, sorry, my peak came over and blinded me. Good morning from Inverness. Good morning, Inverness. How are you today? The best spoken English in the world. On the Oh, here's the beautiful Maria Knight, who has sent me a gorgeous, gorgeous garland of flowers. Uh, you're from Germany, so am I. Nein, nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Nicht verstehen. Uh, so there we are. Follow us, guys. Can we have a massive follow fest right now? You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. ACDC or Metallica, both, no problem. Love it, a good few banging tunes there. I'm from Frankfurt, you? I am from Glasgow, you? Shortland, yeah. Uh, I'm from Albania, we love you in Albania. Dinky do, mwah, in Macedonia and all the way around there. Hello all the way from South Africa. Hi, I was on your live the other day. You were, Marvin, I remember you. South Africa, are you throwing something on the bray? Let me know. From Tennessee, we were waltzing with my darling the night they were playing the beautiful Tennessee waltz. What religion, oh, what religion are people? Hang on a second, I missed that. What religion are people that don't believe in God but believe in an afterlife? Uh, I would say um, if you believe in the afterlife, you, you could be a spiritualist. So there you are. You might be a spiritualist. My first football game on Wednesday after 15 months uh, at Central Bank in Lincoln. Dinky-doo Lincoln. Fantastic. I'm from Ireland. Jerry, you're very welcome from Ireland. Ewan's from Ireland as well. Are you from Glasgow? Uh, well, no, I'm from Scotland. But uh, I uh, broadcast very often in Glasgow. From Liverpool. Lovely to have you with us, Harvey. We love the bones of you all down in Liverpool. You scousers, fantastic, wonderful. Uh, Dinky you do, I need to go to sleep. Thank you for your positivity. James, have a lovely, peaceful sleep. Dinky you do. I'm from Ireland, Sir Jerry. Yes, I know. Agnostic, they don't know. Uh, and atheist, as I believe, nothing. Yeah, but we would need to hear from atheists, you know, and... Uh, what is it that they don't believe in? So they need to tell us about God so we know why they don't believe. Well, I'm a spiritualist. Aha. I wasn't born in Inverness, but I moved here. So I speak with a West Coast accent. Lol. All right, Alima. We know what you're talking about there. Thanks very much, Dunham. Now, there we are. <clears throat> you're from Ireland. I'm not from Ireland, no. But I know Ireland like the back of my hand. Fantastic. From the Netherlands, says Gazinas. Ah, ja, come into the house. Welche and Kuppete hebben. I'm a veering mein klompen. Yeah? Uh, I'm from Ireland. Health and happiness to you and yourself now there. Yes, indeed. Top of the morning to you. Liverpool's a brilliant city. They love the Irish up here. La Hoop. They're mostly Irish in, in Liverpool. What are you talking about? They're, they're just the first place when they got off the boat. They're all. What's this place? If you listen to an Irish accent, so you might talk with an Irish accent like that. And if you just change it a little bit, then you start to get the Scouser. Yeah? And we love you, Scotty, Scouse, Irish. That sort of thing. See how it just metamorphoses. Oh, there's your homework for you, chum. That's excellent. Now, uh, what have we got? Morning, Duke of Dundee. There we are. Dutch. Excellent Dutch. Very good. Thank you. Make America free again. Yes, America is free, actually. It was quite expensive in some places. Morning, the Duke of Dundee. Where are you from? We are from the universe. Hello from Hampshire. I love Hampshire. 
I adore it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous county. I was just thinking about Winchester this morning and the cathedral. Beautiful. Uh, the Liverpudlians love the Irish. I mean, there are loads of Irish in the city. La Hoop, everybody loves the Irish, as long as they behave themselves and don't start pointing fingers for no reason at all. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fantastic. Remember, you're on watch, chum. Uh, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we are live on TikTok. I think TikTok is the future, right? I've done 36 years, 37 years next month of mainstream television, mainstream radio, all in the major markets, bringing in millions of viewers and millions of pounds for, for the media moguls. Yeah, and uh, I now think that TikTok if you all follow me, share all the videos, look at them all and like them, I think you will have a massive, massive thing on your hands here. How many languages do you know? Well, as many as you need to speak to get in touch with everybody in the world, William. Are you on Twitter, Scotty? Yes, Scotty boy, I am on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Scotty McClue. So feel free, everybody, to go and follow at Scotty McClue on Twitter. I think over 4,000 have followed me already. So feel free to join me. And we've sent over, I think about 80,000 tweets. How amazing is that? My average tweet gets, uh, how, how many did I see that day? About three or 4,000, you know, views. <coughs> Pardon me. Good morning from me band. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. What do you broadcast? I broadcast speech, talk, like this, discussion, debate, information, education, entertainment, all these sort of things. You know, we, we, we discuss everything. What are the topics? Well, you decide, you see, it's the people's show, and I will uh, respond to whatever you want to talk about, provided it's, uh, it's legal and it's uh, put in a civil manner. Liverpool was the last city in England to be renovated. Uh, Liverpool was the last city in England to be Has it been renovated? There we are. Fantastic. Um, now, Taylor Swift. Fantastic. Let's discuss the voter fraud in the USA. I don't think there was any, was there? I mean, you know, you voted Trump out. You voted Uncle Joe in. Job done. Jobs are good. You're a delight. Hello from the States. Dinky Doo City. Lovely to have you with us. Do you know Limington down near Southampton? A gorgeous place. Is it not a great sailing place? Limington. Limington and the sea there. I love Southampton as well. And the Isle of Wight. Yes. You can see over to Osborne House. Who's your favorite author? I have so many William. It would be impossible to list them all. I'm reading a lot of books by a wonderful Scottish academic called Michael Fry, and he does a lot of serious factual stuff on Scotland, its place in the empire, the union, things like that, you know. Well worth the look. Uh, it has indeed, Scotty, the last due to the Irish connection. Yes, indeed, Lahoub. I know Liverpool very well. I stayed 20 minutes away from it, Lahoub. Yes, you're telling Scotty McClure about his own stamping ground here. What's tuberculosis? Well, tuberculosis was originally a disease caught from cattle, but it could affect every part of the body, and it killed millions. And it was a relative of mine that actually cured it. And uh, he was a gentleman called Sir John Crofton. Sir John Crofton. Look up Sir John, lovely man. Very, very humble man, just but very brilliant. And uh, he brought in streptomycin in 1947-48. And that, just where it happened to coincide with the advent of the National Health Service in the United Kingdom. And Sir John Crofton... Um, brought in the streptomycin, and I remember seeing him on telly, and he said, we cured 16 million people. 
Not everybody believed us, but we did. And a whole raft of hospitals and everything just closed, disappeared. Incredible, because they've got a cure for tuberculosis. Unfortunately, there's isolated cases of it creeping back in, I believe. But in those days, you could only cure people by fresh air. So they opened sanatorium, known as sanatoria, I would think. And people were put outside to try and get some fresh air in the lungs because the towns and cities of the United Kingdom were so polluted so heavily polluted with industrial uh, waste, smoke, and all that, fogs, smogs. So what they did <clears throat> was they took them out away up into the country, up into the hills. There's a place called Sladeburn in Lancashire, and that was one of the great tuberculous sanatoria up there. Absolutely, tubercullen. And now the milk is now tubercullen tested. So there you are. So we don't get tuberculosis. But uh, incredible. And people, people died of it. People had huge operations. A dear old friend of mine lost a lung and several ribs just before the, um, the streptomycin came in. Bless him. But he lived till he was nearly 91. He just died last year. Will you ever go back to the drink, Scotty? I don't think so. Because it does nothing for you. I mean, my mother used to say that when I'd had a few beers. She'd say, I don't know why you drink. It does nothing for you. <laughs> but um, it's been so wonderful not having it because you never have a hangover. You never feel argy-bargy. You never, um, you know, you, you don't have that fog in your head that you're trying to work through. You can drive your car anytime you like. You know, it's, it's, it's fantastic. You can go to bed anytime you like. Get up anytime you like. What's your opinion on veganism? My only worry about the vegans, I mean, I, two were arguing the other day, and I said to them, what is the beef? And uh, the problem I've got with vegans is that I believe they produce more methane, which could, of course, add to the greenhouse gases. So there you are. Uh, and, of course, they criticise they criticize the cattle for producing methane. So there we are. Now, uh, do come and join us, guys. We're very, very, very busy today. What have we got here? Um, wow, Scotty, absolutely, how about? So there we go. Scotty, been here from the start, got to go. I've got to go as well, Bob. I've been here from the start as well. Uh, watch your opening on the radio. That would be Dance With Your Granny and Your Auntie Fanny right across the floor. When you get to the other side, you shut the flaming door. So that's that's what it's all about. Right, uh, Scotty McClure, time I wasn't here. I need to dash off. But take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous, yes? And uh, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheerio. Watch every Scotty McClue video on TikTok, guys. Tap the portrait at the top and they will all come up. Get on to the YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. Yes, and uh, let's all meet up again for a live very, very soon indeed. Until then, from me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you, dinky-doo. Ta-ra, lads! <laughs>